Hello from Suffolk, England, where it's a cloudy but dry early June day today, after a rainy weekend. The wild dog roses are blooming in the hedgerows, the elders are holding white plates of flowers up to the sky, and I've been chasing off the evening chill with some homemade elderflower gin. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 7. It's Monday the 8th of June, in the year of our Lord 2020 and it's time to sit back and enjoy five minutes of civilised calm. This is Mark's Almanac, recorded in the piece of the English countryside. I'm suffering from my old complaint, the hay fever, as it is called. My fear is of perishing by deliquescence. I melt away in nasal and lacrimal profluvia. My remedies are warm pediluvium, cathartics, topical applications of a watery solution of opium to eyes, ears, and the interior of the nostrils. The membrane is so irritable that light, dust, contradiction, an absurd remark, the sight of a dissenter, anything sets me a-sneezing. And if I begin sneezing at twelve, I don't leave off till two o'clock, and am heard distinctly in Taunton when the wind sets that way, at a distance of six miles. Turn your mind. To this little curse. If consumption is too powerful for physicians, at least they should not suffer themselves to be outwitted by such little upstart disorders as the hay fever. That's the Reverend Sidney Smith, complaining about the pollen count to his son-in-law, Dr. Henry Holland, on this day in 1835. On this day in 1949, George Orwell published his landmark novel of technological totalitarianism, 1984, imagining a country ruled and monitored through remote telescreens and manipulated news. In it, he wrote, Freedom is the freedom to say that two plus two make four. If that is granted, all the rest follows. Also on this day, in 1955, Tim Berners-Lee was born in London, the inventor of the World Wide Web. His parents were also computer scientists. After working for various technology firms in Dorset, Berners-Lee made his breakthrough while a fellow at CERN in Geneva. Knighted in 2004, he joined the Order of Merit in 2007. Here's a poem. The Pylons, by Stephen Spender. The secret of these hills was stone, and cottages of that stone made, and crumbling roads that turned on sudden hidden villages. Now over these small hills they have built the concrete that trails black wire, pylons, those pillars bare like nude giant girls that have no secret. The valley with its gilt and evening look, and the green chestnut of customary root, are mocked dry like the parched bed of a brook. But far above, and far as sight endures, like whips of anger with lightning's danger, there runs the quick perspective of the future. This dwarfs our emerald country by its trek, so tall with prophecy, dreaming of cities, where often clouds shall lean their swan-white neck. That's almost all for today. If you know anyone who could use a touch of calm, do please share this. And do please keep the requests and suggestions coming. It's always good to hear from you. And don't forget you can sign up to get daily emails when new episodes go live with show notes and links at marksalmanac.substack.com Remember, 
That's Mark with a C. And if you need some music to wake you up, how about Poor Wayfaring Stranger by the Hillbilly Thomists? I know dark clouds will gather round me. Until tomorrow, stay civilised, keep calm, and please keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.